How's everybody doing? Thanks for joining me. Welcome back. So today is a collab video I got to do with some wonderful ladies here on YouTube. There will be a link down below. It will be one link and you click on it and it will take you to all the beauties. There's like a playlist is what it will be. And I think that's just awesome because then it's not like you're clicking on every single link. And you can just go through the playlist and let it play as it goes. Leap Into Fall is the name of the collab. So basically, yeah, we're getting ready into fall. Unfortunately for me, I say unfortunately, I mean, I know some people love fall. Some people just adore and love fall. I am not a fall person. I am a spring and summer gal. Hate to see summer go. I wanted to do a look, because um, when I think of fall, I think of like orange colors, cranberry colors. Well, I got to thinking of different colors that had some cranberry in it. And this is the eye look that I came up with. It is in the cranberry family. I used uh, a good bit of Makeup Geek eyeshadows and a couple Too Faced eyeshadows in there is what I ended up using. The main guy in this whole look is this Makeup Geek color here. It's called Burlesque. And what it is, it does have some purple hues in it but it's like a cranberry purple hue um if you've never seen burlesque this is the shade that it pulls right here unfortunately i don't think my camera is really going to do it justice so that was kind of the one shade that i got to really thinking about to do this look and then I came with um, in the inner corner and brought it in. Instead, I brought my shade that's kind of more of a eye brightening color. And that one is uh, Shima Shima from Makeup Geek. Uh, so I would compare it to Floof. I don't know. I've never had Floof from MAC. I guess it's a MAC shade. But um, again, I'm not sure how well my camera's going to pick up. But it's a, sh a shimmery color. And then the other color of a Makeup Geek was Cupcake. It's in the Mauve family. It's a matte shade. Like the other two have more shimmer and satin to them where this one's just a, a matte shade here. Um, but that's it right there. And I kind of worked it in the upper uh, crease area. I didn't put it in the crease, I just did it above it. And then two shades, two shades I worked in with the Too Faced Bonjour uh, palette. You cannot get this unless I think on eBay or something like that, so I do apologize. Um, the shades I ended up using was this shade here. It's called Sand Dollar. I just used that as like a base, an overall base kind of thing. And then the other shade I used was uh, Toasted Coconut. And again, I worked it in with Cupcake and kind of just, you know, um, did it in the abo above the crease. I didn't actually put it in the crease. And then underneath, worked in Burlesque, Cupcake, and Shima Shima together it did really turn out nice I was really happy with it um so the other things that are on my face I used the elf poreless face primer for my eyes and all that wonderful jazz jazz I used the miracle blur for the eyes um, setting the eye area I used my elf high definition setting powder 
I, I did use Mally's shadow base, uh, her all famous shadow base that I like to use. It's a cream consistency. I did put it on the eyelids first with sand dollar. And I did use this as a concealer also. As I say, it's like a multitasker. I used this foundation here that my in-laws sent me. It's the L'Oreal Lumi foundation. And this came from England. So this is in Rose Pearl is what it's in. Set my face with my all-famous Laura Geller Balance and Brighten. Love this stuff. Okay, also for the eyes, before I get off track here, I used the Tarte. Uh, brow tech for my brows. For my lashes, I used Tarte's uh, camera. What is it? Lights camera flashes mascara. Used that. Also for concealer, I used my Better Skin Superstay. I used like eyeliners and everything. I used the CoverGirl Intensify Me uh, Liquid Eyeliner on the eyelid itself a little bit and did that little little bit of wing. I used the Rimmel Scandal Eyes in black. Did that in the upper inner part, tight lined up there uh, of my eyes. For on my waterline, I love Melly's Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Eyeliner in purple red. I used the purple red. No, I used my Lorac uh, Pro Contour Palette to do some contouring um, along on my cheeks and, and face and area. Still practicing with that. For my blush, I used Too Faced. Uh, one of these blushes here. What are these? The Sweethearts. This one's in Peach Beach. I figured this one would go good because I didn't want to use too much cranberry and berry shades or pink shades. Um, I just, I didn't want to do it over an overload, so I thought this would work best. Um, I also thought about using Luminoso uh, from Milani, so if that's a shade you want to use, um, I think that would have been great because I had thought about using that shade too. Um, on the lips, I love the shade from Lorac. This is one of Lorac's Alter Ego lipsticks. This one's in Goddess. I This is probably my favorite shade of all from them in there and it's like a beautiful uh, mauve purple shade sort of it's it's a good color definitely for when now that you know fall will be coming up anytime really but it's just gorgeous I love it to set all over on my face again oh highlighter highlighter I also used the Lorac uh, Pro I used the shimmer shade in here that they have uh, for the highlight. I use that. I use the highlight shimmer for on my cheeks and, and things. And to set everything, this is a really good product. If you like Hourglass and then there's, um, what is it, the Fergie take on the day or any of those, this is Mally's uh, Perfect Skin Illuminating Refine Refiner. Okay. And it is a gorgeous setting powder. I love this this would probably be my ultimate favorite powder like that that really it gives you an illumination and also um it makes your pores invisible i feel i didn't show like a get ready with me i didn't show me applying all these products because i figured the main part on some like get like these kind of collabs I do focus more of an eye look. If you do want to continue to watch this video and see me doing the look and the overall the overall look, then stay tuned and keep watching and I'll take you right to the video right okay, now. Okay, as always, you know I me, mean? I have to use my Mally, the shadow base. I have to be drinking my coffee. So having some coffee. I need to wake myself up. Okay, so I'm gonna use a shade from I don't even think you can get this palette anymore and I apologize for but this was the from the Bonjour uh, summer edition from Too Faced. 
uh, classic color that they have in the middle right here, like this full on size. I'm gonna use this classic. And I'm just also gonna use it as a base. Now, in the same, in the, this same palette, the Too Faced one, I'm actually gonna use toasted coconut a little bit. take another coffee break. It's just mm, a little cooler today. Kind of probably let it set for too long. The shade from Makeup Geek. It's called Cupcake. And along with the toasted coconut. and put something around the eye of a, um, I use Mally's uh, shadow base as a concealer, sort of too, because it does do a nice coverage a lot of times, even just for under the eye. So it's like, I always say a multitasker in my opinion. Geek Shimmer Shimmer. you say it that is the main shade I am gonna kind of use on my lid I know it's a dark color it can look scary Now I'm going to use my CoverGirl Intensify Me liquid eyeliner, but I'm not going to go too heavy because I feel this, you know, this whole look and shade is a pretty deep dark color. Sneak in a coffee drink. Use Rimmel Scandal, Rimmel Scandal Eyes in the shade, I believe it's just black, yeah, black. Black. So far the Intensify Me color Intensify Me from CoverGirl is only black. I'm hoping they come out with other shades. I love Melly's Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Eyeliners. I think they're the best eyeliners out there. But this shade is in purple red, and I thought this is perfect to put in my inner waterline area. It's called Purple Red. Brow Catech, I have used many times. It's another brow product that I can work with. things today. Uh, the Tarte Camera Flashes Mascara. So this is the overall look that I got. 
with the shadows and base products and lip product. I was a little bit nervous because I wasn't sure what the look, how it was going to come out, what was, you know, obviously. Um, but when it comes together like it does, it's like you just feel so good and happy. So I'm a happy. And so far, the looks that I've been going for and like I'll have in my head kind of has pulled off really nice. And um, this is definitely a color and a look that I will use in the fall. So anyway, beauties, if you do like this video and you enjoy this look and everything, please give me a thumbs up. I would so appreciate that very much. And it would help me out to get my videos out there more. Um, do not forget to go ahead and check the other beauties. Like I said, there will be a link down below. Go and check each one of them out. I don't know what everybody's doing. I mean, everybody, it's, doors are open to anything, any, any kind of stuff that they wanted to do. Like, enjoy, have fun, check out the rest of the beauties. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, you can click the subscribe button down below. It's totally free. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, it's just, it's free. Just click the subscribe button. And each week I do a video. And as always, beauties, please remember to just be yourself love yourself and let the real beauty shine through so until the next time you all take care and i will see you then take care Mwah. love you all bye bye